Hi guys, and today I'm going to be making Little as Petra customs of the Night Fury and Light Fury from How to Train Your Dragon. I love these cute little dragons and I can't wait to see the new movie soon, so I decided to make some customs. As a base, I'm going to be using these lizards. I love how their little toes look like dragon claws. First, I need to take a scalpel knife and cut off any of the plastic that I don't need. Like the little spikes on its head and the back. Once I've done that, I'm going in with some epoxy sculpt. Take two even parts and smooch them together for two minutes. Once you've done that, you're ready for sculpting. I'm starting with reshaping the eyes and filling in any holes on the head <laughs> since we are cut off the little spikes. I'm using a dotting tool to help achieve little sharp lines and divots on the face and the back. Epoxy is a little weird to work with. It's a medium I've never really like experienced before, so it's going to take me a little bit of time to get used to it 100% I think. Once they dry for 24 hours I sanded down all of the hard epoxy. Epoxy tends to show a lot of dents, cracks or fingerprints really easily once you've painted over them. So I spent a good two hours trying to get these dragons looking nice and smooth. <laughs> Be sure to sand things down if you're ever using epoxy in your customs. There were still some cracks in the end but they're not that noticeable and for my first time using it on a big piece like this, I think I did a pretty good job. Once that's done, more epoxy. This time I'm adding some head details and the wings. I'm starting with the Light Fury's head because they have less spikes on there compared to the Night Fury for some reason, I don't know, it's kind of weird. She has two big nubs on the top of her head and two smaller ones on the side. As for the Night Fury, he has six of them, so fitting it all on nicely was a little bit of a challenge but I think I did a good job. And then I did the wings, but I realised I forgot to hit record and I thought I was filming and it wasn't. But I basically just used some wire as like a skeleton and then covered that in epoxy to get the wing shape. You'll get the idea when, uh, when I'm sanding it down. I was sure to sand it down really carefully and try and make it look as smooth as possible. And then wash off any shavings and it's time to paint! I'm going to be using an airbrush for the first time in a video, that's exciting huh? This is an Awata airbrush which was kindly sent to me as a free product from the airbrush company. I'll leave a link to their store in the description box down below. Airbrushes are a really great tool to get a clean finish and you can do blending and gradients and use all different kind of colours, they're really great. So I'm starting off with a silver metallic acrylic coat on the toothless or Night Fury, whatever you want to call it. Because once I put a black coat on top of the silver, it'll give it a nice little light shimmer. And I feel like just doing a plain black coat on him will just kind of wash it out a little bit and you won't see all the details. So I think with that little extra shimmer, it'll add a little bit more. Kapal, he's a dragon, you know? As for the Light Fury, I'm doing a crisp white base just so it's nice and clean. When you're using an airbrush, try not to lather on in super thick layers since they tend to run or clump up. If you paint in thin layers, they tend to dry really fast anyway, at least for acrylic paint that is. So it didn't take very long to get an opaque colour. Once I've finished with the Light Fury, time to move on to the Night Fury. The silver has dried completely so I'm going in with the black coats. I was really careful to cover up all of the silver on his base just so I don't get any little surprises as I'm doing the details on him later on. Once they've completely dried, it's time to fill in the eyes. The Light Fury has crystal blue eyes, so I'm filling it in with a bright blue colour. This colour really suits the Light Fury, it's so pretty. I then filled the Night Fury's eye socket with a white base, so when I put the colour on top, it'll pop. Once that dried, I went in with a bright green colour, just like the movie. Because these dragons are magical, of course I want to use some glitter in their eyes, because why not? Everyone likes glitter, don't they? I've never met anyone that doesn't like glitter. So I'm using a variety of different colours, starting with the Light Fury. I'm adding an ice blue in the centre and then a dark blue around the outside and blending it. I 
I also decided to make her eye highlight be a little flower glitter chunk. I thought it was a really cute idea and it made her look kind of mystical. And as for the Night Fury, I used a gold glitter chunk in the center and then kind of blended it from gold to green. Once all the glitter and the glue was dried, I went in with some clear nail polish and I blobbed it on in coats to kind of give that fake glass eye effect. It kind of worked, but I kind of wish I got some resin and used that instead. But I do really want to try glass eyes at some point, I think that would be really fun. Once I finished with the eyes, I wanted to add some extra glitter to the ends of their wings and the tip of their tail. And also the tip of their head scales, I don't know what you call them, those things. The glitter made them feel a bit more magical and mystical, but it also made them look like they had scales on them because of the different size glitter chunks, it looks really cool. Once all the details are done, it's time to go in with a top coat. I went for a matte top coat and it turned out really cool and here they are complete! Look at the dragon babes, oh, I love them so much! Let me know what you think of them in the comments down below and have you seen the movie? I can't wait to watch it myself. I also made a little skit using these dragons from a scene from the trailer and I'll put that as a card annotation up there if you want to check it out. But these guys are so cool, I really love them so much and I can't wait to make more customs with an airbrush in the future, I'm just so excited, I'm getting all crafty, I've been making loads of customs recently. Don't forget to like, subscribe and let me know in the comments if you prefer Night Furies or Light Furies and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!